Good morning, YouTube land. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it's Tuesday, but you know what? It is. So anyways, happy Tuesday, and thanks for tuning in, where on this channel, we start our day praising the Lord for everything that He's done, everything that He already did, and everything that He is still going to do. Okay? Because that's how I say it. Number one, the battle belongs to the Lord. It says that in the Bible. The battle belongs to the Lord. But I'm like, you know what? We're, we're supposed to be the body of Christ, and we each have our own individual functions. Um, is functions the right word? You know how the body has different parts? And this is in the Bible. It talks about the body having different parts, like, you know, the head, the arms, the fingers, the ears. And so when you look at a person's body and you see that it's fit together perfectly, and I don't even know how God did it, but he did. He created us. And I'm like, if you're going to be used, you might as well ask the Lord what he wants to use you for. Because I don't know about you, but when I was running amok in the world, all I was doing my own thing, and I didn't even care about what the Lord wanted. It was all about me. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are like that. Because it's our... It's our human nature to be selfish. See, we don't want to do nothing unless we hear what's going to, you know. People don't want to do something unless they get something in return. A lot of people are like that. They're like, well, what's in it for me? You know, and my mama brought me up saying, you know what? Don't ask what's in it for you. Do it because you know that person needs help or you need to do this or that person can't do for them. You do it because the Lord needs you to do it and be happy that the Lord wants you to do it because he could have called anybody and he chose you. And when you... When you realign your thinking, see, I used to call it my stinking thinking, because you know what? It's stinking thinking when it's all about you. I know! And I was like, but, but Lord, you know, and this is like two years ago before I even did this channel for the Lord. I was, uh, you know, because I was still doing my own thing. I was Christian, still doing my own thing. And then I, I heard a preacher, and he said, You cannot drink out of the devil's cup. And then five minutes later, drink out of the Lord's cup. And that made sense to me. And then that's when it really hit me, and it dawned on me that I had to I had to seriously look at myself and go, am I really living my life for the Lord? Am I doing what the Lord wants me to do? Is he happy with me? What does God want me to do? Because I'm tired of being used for the wrong reasons. I'm tired of being used for the enemy's advancement. I'm tired of being used and tossed away to the wayside like a piece of toilet paper. You know? What is this? So anyways, I said, you know what, Lord? Use me. Because there's a lot of people in the world that don't want to hear about the Lord, and you have to know the times we're living in. Tick-tock, tick-tock. 
I know it sounds so redundant, but you know what? A moment changes everything. And when we're out of here, because we believe and we know and we're not going along with this world and we don't want the new world order and we know because we're Christians and we know God loves us, God's going to protect us, God is here with us, and we're going to be used for the Lord to reach out and tell others. Number one, not only is Jesus coming closer or sooner, I seriously believe it's going to be within the next, I know, three years. I, I just, I know, I just, because I see this peace treaty deal thing, and I see what's going on in the Middle East, and I read my Bible, and I know that in the middle of the seven-year peace deal agreement, all hell breaks loose here on the earth, and I don't want to be here, and I don't want you to be here. And the only reason Christians and people in this world are going to be left behind is because there is an event that's going to happen very, very, very soon. Don't ask me when because no man knows the day or the hour. Hello? That means if, if you know, there's a song that says, if you get ready, you don't got, wait. If you get ready, you don't have to be ready. So if you get ready today, you don't have to worry about going on through the day. You know, like wondering, okay, if the Harpazo event happens, you know, am I going to be left behind? That's something you need to ask yourself because I'm telling you, if you're going to be used in this world, be used for the Lord. The benefits are out of this world. And I'm not doing this for me. But I know one day I'm going to be face to face with my Lord and my Savior. And I want him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's what I want Jesus to say to me. I don't want him to look at me and say, I never knew you. Because in the Bible, there's going to be people that are face to face with the Lord. And, and Jesus is going to, he's going to have, he's going to have that book of life. And he's going to be looking. And if your name is not found, please somebody, please take to heart what I'm trying to say. Please, por favor, please, is, can anybody, can anybody please, please, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. I know what I'm trying to say, but my pronunciation just not might be that great. S'il vous plaît. See, I'm not French, but that means please. If you please, please, s'il vous plaît, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Talk to him. Ask him into your heart. Invite him. He is at the door knocking. That means that he's a spirit. He's at your heart. He's knocking. He's like, please let me in. And the Bible says, whoever lets the spirit in, he will sit with you. He will eat with you. He will drink with you. He will talk with you. He will help you. He will see you through. I don't know what you're going through. But I know for me on this end, there is so much going on. I just can't even begin to write it all out. That's why I wake up and I'm like, Lord, 
I don't want to go through it again because I forgot what it was I was you know sometimes it just gets so redundant but you know what praising the Lord is not praising the Lord is rejuvenating I don't know about you but I do this every single day and don't mind me and my measuring cup it's just that somebody forgot to hit the dishwasher button and water if you're gonna be filled with the if you're gonna be fit wait there's this verse in the Bible and it talks about drinking because see I can't drink anymore me and alcohol don't get along it turns me into a different person and I don't even know who that person is and I didn't even know that person was inside me until the spirits that's why when you look at liquor stores it says what does it say? Oh, it says beer, wine, and spirits. What kind of spirits are in that, is, is in that alcohol? Because you know what? They might not be nice spirits because there's a lot of people that drink and want to fight. Now me, when I was drinking, I just wanted to dance on top of the tables and I can't do it anymore. That's why I can't drink. I get too happy. Is there even such a thing as getting too happy? <laughs> Whenever you see me drinking out of the measuring cup, it's because the dishes didn't get washed. Oh, sorry. So, thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank him. Thank him. The Bible says, every knee will bow. Every knee, every tongue will confess. I'm not going to stick my tongue out. So if that means every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Jesus Christ is the name above all names. The power in his name. The power. There is power in Jesus' name. If you are in dire, dire need, just cry out to Jesus. That's all you have to do. See, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up and I was, you know, I was, a little girl and I had problems but see the Bible says when you're a child you think like a child you act like a child you think you talk like a child you do as a child it's here in the Bible but when you grow up and when you realize you're not a child that's one thing about people see a baby Jesus was born over 2,000 years ago. Emmanuel, God with us. Peace. Peace for the world. Peace for the world. John 3, 17 says, I came not to condemn the world, but that the world through me might be saved. Jesus. Jesus said that. Jesus said, I came to the world, not to condemn, but to save the world. See, in order to be saved, spiritually speaking, because a lot of people aren't spiritually awake, and no, I'm not a Bible thumper. I would never Bible thump you. I'll Bible thump, Bible thump, I'll Bible thump myself for you. I'm doing this for you because I want you to be with me in our Father's house. That's where I want us to be. I want you, I want your family, your neighbors, your friends. You know what? We're living in the last days. It's time to make peace with people 
that maybe you've had a riff with them for a while and you don't even remember what the riff is about. That's like me. I sent an email to, you know, to an old best friend and because we had, we had a riff and we didn't talk. So yesterday or the day before I emailed her and you know, it was hard like reading the first few sentences. You, I mean, she, she just lambasted me one and I was just like, okay, I guess I kind of deserved that, but isn't it a two way street? Like if you have a riff with somebody, it doesn't seem appropriate or right for them to like get to tell you everything that you did or whatever you said or whatever you didn't say. I mean, because what about her, right? Do doesn't the Bible say it takes two? Like, you know, a quarrel. If, if you look at quarrel, where do you draw the between the two R's? You know, the syllables, Q-U-A-R, and then the split, and then the R-E-L-S, quarrels. So if you have a quarrel, you know what I mean? You want to make things right. Now is the time to make things right. Make it right in your own life. Make it right in your family's life. We're living in the last days. We're not even promised tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. And have a great day. And remember, Jesus loves you.